Welcome to the Armyman Sound Motion series, and today I'll be showing my entire Armyman collection. As you can see, here's pretty much all, all right here. We've got blues back here, we've got reds, and we don't have any. Anyway, let's get into it. So, so right now we'll just start with the green. So this is the green army right over here. The green army is my biggest, um, was my biggest of all of my soldiers. So, we got... Like we got lots of poses back here. We got Japanese. We got, it's green in the way, but it's pretty much all the vehicles right here. We got patent tanks back here. We got truck, jeeps, helicopters all back there. All that crap. Um, we also got this right here. We also got that. We also got Iwo Jima flight thing. Uh, so we got that and uh. Yeah, pretty much the green just is really big, pretty much. We got World War II back here. We got Planet Guard, yeah, lots of stuff. We got some modern Vietnam. Of the Iwo Jima set. But yeah, um, there's lots of crap. Um, but let's move on to the tans. Well, yeah, just get another look of the greens. Pretty much all the greens. As much all the leaders as well. Yeah, all the leaders. And if you're wondering where like this remodel poses or you know this are, just you can search at like World War II sets on um, Amazon and you should see them. You should see them in like some sort of bucket or box. Anyway, let's move on to the tans. These, oh, focus camera. Okay, these are my tans. Way smaller than the greens, but these are my tans soldiers. And just got boats, rafts, helicopter, jets, four jets, truck. Probably know what that is. Uh, actually, that truck. You probably know what the truck that is. Published all that in my ambush video. And then you got. We got this uh, 508 tank size for real, but got another tank is that we got one of this tank right here. And here's all the soldiers. Here's all the leaders and everything. All the leaders. Go. Well, all right. And now we got this more tans up front. There's lots of tans I have right here. World War II, you know. That's lots of pro units too. I like machine gunners. Oh, yeah, War uh, Two. Yep. Um, you got more like Iwo Jima so the Japanese Iwo Jima set, but in technical tan. So. Yeah. So pretty much that is kind of my tans. These are my greens. There's more greens than tans. That's <laughs> tans could get their butt beat by these greens up here. <sighs> Yeah. And also another green. Japanese. Yeah, also got some Japanese snipers on the greens, but yeah, no, not for the greens. Um let's move on to the greys. Here. Here are the greys. Here are the greys. Pretty small. Small and tan. But yeah. Um But yes. Um, here's all the grays. Here's the leaders. Leaders right here. There you go, all the grays back there. Yeah. I think it's all like World War II, pretty much, and some of them are German, some of them are World War II. These are all their vehicles. I don't know if you can see that. There's one jet, one helicopter, pretty much, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's, pretty, that's pretty much it for the grays. So that's the grays, um, there's really nothing to talk about for grays, but there's really not as much. Man, I do got more grays, but it's in the Civil War set. Look, this, this, this is my Civil War set. 
And these are also my skeleton warriors. They're all my skeletons. Yeah, those are my skeletons. These are just kind of the main stuff. Huh? Pretty much. Uh, but now moving on to blue. So this is this is the blue army. They got no vehicles. <laughs> they got no vehicles at all. None. I don't talk about no vehicles. But yeah. Here are the leaders. And then they got the most leaders. And everyone. They got officers. All these generals. And then that's the most. In here, got some Germans. And modern, like this guy right here. Got like MG. There. I think I used, um, I used them. I don't think I've ever used an establishment before. Yeah. Got that. I just trying to wonder where the LCVP landing craft is. It's in my closet up there, but I forgot to get it. It's my L from my D from that D dice that I made. Um. And yeah, pretty much the blue right there. We got some more monitors. Yep, we got the modern soldier right here. Lots of detail. Right there. And we got another World War II soldier right here. Another German infantry. Now, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much just plain old blue, you know? Plain old blue. Old soldier. But yeah, uh. Got blue. Yeah. Okay, moving on. We got the reds. Here's all the reds. All right, so here is the, all the leaders. Over there. Some reds. All just got like red snipers are prone. And there's only one officer for the reds. Only one officer. It's not anymore. There's not as much. There's not as more officers. Yeah, he won't stand anymore. Yeah, I, I was gonna have to leave it there. Yeah, there's also like a small one too. I don't remember where I got this a small red soldier. I don't remember. It's the only small red. I kind of put them right next to him because they're kind of the same exact color. It's like a different, he hasn't got the Thompson like he does. Yeah, I mean, I got, I got a lot, lots of reds and not really too much. Got like an average red right there. I think a person filled right there. Yeah, these are all their vehicles. I got these two mechs and two tanks and the jet back there. Um, yeah, uh, and then you got some just bad planes back there. I always got those guys in the back. Yeah, really not too much of red, you know. It's really not too much of red right now. But yes, um, now moving on to my pinks. And there's barely no vehicles, and this is the most smallest you'll ever see of any element. Here is the pinks. These are all my pinks. The commander is right here. It's the commander. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Here's the detail. That's the commander of the I'm not gonna put him up front. Oh, I think my blue commanding officers. That, but yeah. So I just got just standard Japanese riflemen. They're not they're like just like pink, but yeah, I got pinks. If you're wondering who those people are, those are my fantasy figures. I like to call them guardians because they they're pretty powerful. If you want if you want me to show the fantasy figures in the stop motion, let me know in the comments down below. Um if you want to see fantasy figures in the stop motion like like fantasy figures versus the or something like that. If you want me to, if you want to see that send me in the comments. Or if you want to see like blue versus red battle or blue versus green <laughs> I'm 
Yeah, that's what we call the blues. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you also got some, like, futuristic ones, too. That's a futuristic rights as well. I think it's all that. Yeah, those are my fantasy figures. And here's a... This flying guy. He, he flies. Um... I like to call him, like, some sort of wizard that, like, drink the potion. And they kind of turn into that. But one person that I really like, this guy, I really like him. He's got the, he's got a mage, like, he's got a, like, mage thing, or, like, a wand. He also got a dagger for, like, combat. But these guys are kind of not as good for Samus, because they can't really, like, move their arms, and can't, like, do all that crap. But of course, yeah, they can't move their arms, duh. They don't got, like, different types of poses for, like, the, each guy. Like, the sword bed and everything, those guys are fine, but, like, the switch, like, this guy is not, like, as cooperative in stop motions, he's probably not gonna be as good for stop motion, so so I don't really use the fantasy figures as much. But yeah, this guy right here, he's looks like a good person for stop motion. See, I'm gonna keep falling. He think he looks like a good person for stop motion. That little cave guy. Plus got gargoyles, more sword men. Um pretty much yeah, there's lots of lots of them. Also got these cool Vikings back there. Kind of what I call them guardian. Yeah, they kind of look like a guardian. Thing. Yeah. There you go. Closer look. Yeah, it's kind of like what they are. Yeah. All right. Well, that was my entire Raven collection. That was my whole entire collection. You probably just saw the thumbnail. It's just this. Plus, there's people back here too. Um. But yes. Those, is, that's everything. The greens, you're probably really looking at as like, why do you have so many greens? That you're gonna blow up the entire drawings. Ah, but yeah, um, the grays don't have as much. Greens are the biggest, like, I'm like one up here. And especially if you have way more vehicles, they got lots of vehicles, like, in the truck back there, they got Jeeps and helicopters and freaking jets and rafts and more tanks and more they got like really you got lots of tanks you see that tank back there that little tiny tank um right there um it's kind of like a i don't know yeah i would say so that's what that's the video i used in my vietnam that's one of the things i used in my vietnam yeah um uh, you also i got this tank Back here. Let's go to this black tank. I don't know what happened to the turret and gun. But this came for like a Call of Duty set. That I got like a long time ago. And it's kind of just like a black vehicle. It's not like too much exciting. And it's armored. They can like put people in there and they can use this in slow motion. But I don't got black shoulders and they can use them in the other. Or or right here is my U.S. Army. I know how much you love the U.S. Army. I know how much you blow up the views on the U.S. Army. I, it's hard to do, okay? Like, it's hard to do. That's why I'm making this much. But I will make Viking Company Part 3 soon. This is going to be the next time I should. Oh. Um, so you probably know, was it the commander of the... Thing. Holy crap. Oh, oh no, the commander of the thing. Right here. My charger fell. Okay. Yeah, there's probably another commander right there. Yeah, and this is all one of the Humvee I used in the Viking Company for Orn. Uh, there's a little cannon right here. Yeah, they're pretty much, pretty much all the vehicles probably back in that closet. Pretty much, pretty much back in that closet. And that's the 557 right there. Um, also, yeah, go check out. Yeah, go check out Viking Company. Go check out some of like this. Just go check out the freaking. Uh, yeah, go check out Sergeant Davis that I made, and also the D Day thing I made. I'll see you later. Well, that was just my entire Iron Man collection. Hope, hope you enjoyed. See you later.